Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE. So it's the base version of the Sienna. But let's take a look underneath the hood here of the Toyota Sienna. And I apologize for the wind. Let's start off underneath the hood here. Like I mentioned, this has the company's 2.5 liter four cylinder. It makes 245 horsepower. It's paired with two electric motors. This is the front wheel drive version of the Sienna. If you go for the all wheel drive version, they were basically it'd be paired with three electric motors. So that would power the rear axle to give it all wheel drive. This is also paired with a CVT transmission. As the Sienna sits, it weighs around 4,600 pounds. You can tow 3,500 pounds. So the Sienna, I feel like it's a little bit heavier compared to the previous generation. And fuel economy, really quick, is rated at 36 in the city, 36 on the highway, and 36 combined. So this does have really good fuel economy. But shutting the hood here of the Sienna. Like I mentioned from the buddy review that I did with Dorian, as you guys can see, the Sienna does have a nice aggressive look to it. It looks completely different compared to the other minivans in the segment, compared to the Honda Odyssey, the Chrysler Pacifica. LED headlights are gonna be standard equipment with an LED daytime running light with an LED turn signal with an automatic low and high beam. There is no front parking sensors. And of course, if you go for a higher trim level, they will offer LED fault lights here. Honestly, my tester is painted in this super white exterior color. It looks really good with the black uh, accents here. As you guys can see, the Toyota emblem is painted in this blue uh, to signify that it is this is the hybrid version of the vehicle here but the Toyota, Toyota went away from the uh, V6 so now it's just offered as a hybrid powertrain but looking at these wheels here honestly I'm a big fan of these wheels just like I mentioned in that buddy review these are a 235 65 with tire they're wrapped in a 17 inch rim design multi multi spoke finish here which looks really good. Honestly, I'm a big fan of that design. You guys also have this hybrid badge here, which is in an awkward position in my taste. I wish I would have put it here on the side fender. Maybe like how they do with the Chevy Silverado. There's a little vortex here, so you won't hear any wind buffeting once you have the window down. And here on the side, like my, like Dorian was saying, quote unquote, this Wi-Fi connection. Uh, one of you guys commented on the uh, buddy review that I did, and you guys said that the LE does not offer the kick function. So if you have the key in your purse or in your pocket, the sliding door here will open. So if you were kicked there, the uh, side door will open here, but shutting the door back. And you have black painted roof rails. So just in case you wanted to carry a bike or some stuff to the beach and whatnot, you could definitely do so. Just like the, the Toyota Highlander, there's this sharp uh, body line. And there's a lot of body lines and creases on the side profile. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the Toyota Sienna. It's a clean, sleek uh, looking uh, minivan here, but quote unquote, I wouldn't call it a minivan. It looks more like an SUV. There's this rear spoiler here with that shark fin antenna. Or Sienna uh, name here with Toyota emblem there. It's gonna be an LED combination uh, tail lights back here. There's your LE badge, the, the hybrid badge as well. Our reflectors integrate into the bumper. A stand-up backup camera there. It is one visible exhaust tip back here. Once you open up the uh, lift gate back here, it's not gonna be a power lift gate. Toyota says you're gonna get around 33.6 cubic feet of space. Once you fold everything down, you get 101 0.1 cubic feet of space and you cannot remove the second uh, row seating but if you want to fold down the second row really quick just grab this handle here here and the seat will fold down just like that so basically you have a flat loading floor there you want to put it back up just grab the handle here the seat will fall back and then you pull the scraps here so I'm sitting inside the interior of the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE look at this interior honestly I'm really impressed of how Toyota did this interior but shutting the door the materials here since it's the le trim there are some soft touch materials in here this is a uh, beige painted door handle here it is one touch up one touch down for all four windows you have your lock controls here some storage down here cup holders a nice grab handle here it's, it's slightly padded there automatic high beam switchers trash control fuel cap opener you can also lock those uh, doors back there so your kids won't be playing with the buttons and whatnot your hood latch is a manual telescoping wheel honestly i'm not a big fan of the plastic stern wheel here but there is volume controls you can cycle through this uh helper screen here front and center this is not a full lcd display even though it looks like it like i mentioned in that buddy review uh, that i did about a couple of days ago it does look like a full lcd display but Toyota did just darken out the background and I like the new power meter that they have here. There's your speedometer there. Your Toyota emblem here, four collision warning lane, keep assist. It does have blind spot monitor, even though this is the base LE trim, it does offer Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. You also have a uh, dynamic cruise control, your radio presets there. I like the three spoke wheel design. This is the same stern wheel that's off the Toyota uh, Highlander. The materials on the upper part of the instrument panel here are gonna be a hard touch plastic. It's slightly padded in certain areas. Looking here at this nine inch display here, this does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as you guys can see a nice clean resolution here on the actual screen there hopefully if the camera picks it up I've been 
uh, sun, I'm directly inside the sunlight here, but the uh, going to the Apple Maps here, nice clean resolution here. As you can see, going back to the Toyota uh, embedded uh, system here, as you can see there. My test is missing the embedded navigation, also the JBL sound system. So this does have the basic uh, Toyota sound system, which has about six speakers, if I'm not mistaken. This does get tri-zone climate control here. There's no heated or cool seats. There's this blue painted uh, button here to signify that this is the high, actual hybrid trim. And to connect your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you have to use this USB up here. I like this center uh, area here. Toyota calls this the bridge. There's four cup holders in total up here. There's two cup holders here. Once you pop back this lid here, there's two more cup holders. This is the key fob for the Highlander. There's a lock, unlock, and sliding uh, rear doors for the uh, passengers back there. Also a panic button. So this is a newer key fob that Toyota's offering. There's electronic parking brake here, an auto hold, EV mode, different drive mode, which is normal, eco, and a sport mode here. It does pop up into the uh, LC display here. As you guys can see, it turns red when it's in sport mode, it turns green when it's in eco mode but honestly i'm a really big fan of this nine inch display here like i mentioned apple carplay android auto that bridge does continue over passengers uh, side here the glove box is a pretty decent size glove box is big the seats in here they're supportive and they're comfortable but i wish these were the leather seats instead of the the cloth seats but uh, nice materials and whatnot Toyota did a really good job with the seats i like the way the seats look and above me there's no panoramic sunroof or standard sunroof we can also open up the sliding doors back there from click of the button up here there's going to be incandescent lighting in the cabin here once you push this little button here it does reveal a deep amount of storage in here with a USB-C and a USB port. So Toyota, really good job with putting this stuff down there. If you're a soccer mom or a mom in general or a dad, there's a 12 volt down here so you can charge charge up some more uh, stuff down here. There's a big area down here to put a diaper bag and some carry-on bags and whatnot. So Toyota did a really good job of redesigning this interior uh, from the previous generation Sienna. But let's hop into the second and third row of the Toyota Sienna. So I'm sitting inside the second row here of the Toyota Sienna, as you guys can see here. I have plenty of leg room and foot room here. And this is why I have the seat to drive because I'm only five foot eight. You can also close the door by clicking that little button there. The door will power uh, close itself. There's a manual sunshade here to block out the peasants or like I mentioned in the butter review or the paparazzi. There's going to be incandescent lighting back here. Your air up here. There is tri-zone climate control as well. Two cup holders here. There's a USB port, USB-C. You also have your, your Sienna name, which is spelled out here. And it does a charging port as well. And like I mentioned, there's two map pockets here. The seats, you can slide them forward. As you guys can see, I have plenty of foot room here. Plenty of knee room as well. It's slide it back as well. Uh, once you go for the platinum trim, they do give you an ottoman to basically let you recline out. And you can recline the seats as well by putting this handle here on the side here. As you can see, I'm just reclining. So if I was on a long road trip, I couldn't enjoy my uh, long road trip. But let's hop into the third row really quick. There's also this pass through. I removed the uh, middle seat here, which is kind of a hassle to remove. But getting back here, you can also recline the third row by putting those little uh, scraps back there in the cargo area. There's gonna be two USBs back here where there's a USB and USB-C. Two cup holders and one cup holder on this side. Toyota did a really good job with the packaging here of the second, I mean of the third row here. I have plenty of foot in the room. This is with the seat uh, not too far back. So sign off in the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE. Let's talk about visibility really quick. Visibility out of the Sienna here is really good. The mirrors here are really big. You have a blind spot monitor integrated into the mirrors here. This does have Toyota Safety Sense uh, 2.5. That includes rear cross traffic alert, emergency braking uh, with uh, four collision warning, like I mentioned, blind spot monitoring, lane trace assist. So it does come with Toyota's uh, driver's assistance here. But putting this thing into sport mode, I'm going to um, do a brake torque here. Um, but the Sienna being the base LE model, you can also get uh, all-wheel drive with just like a $760 upcharge. Um, my Tesla just has two electric motors, so technically this is the front-wheel drive version of the um, Sienna here. You can get all-wheel drive, like I mentioned, if you go for the if you um, option in the all-wheel drive system. It's basically is an electric motor power in the rear axle. But honestly, you're not going to drive this thing in actual sport mode. You're going to just keep this thing in eco. You're going to get the best gas mileage as possible. It's rated at 36 in the city, 36 on the highway, and 36 combined. And this is paired with a 2.5 liter four cylinder. It makes 245 horsepower. Honestly, I'm kind of 
confused on why Toyota uh, dropped the actual horsepower when it came to the Sienna because it was this was making around 270-ish horsepower or 280-ish horsepower around that range when they actually offered this with the V6. Now, if they offer this with the powertrain from the Toyota uh, Prime, if they offer this with the same powertrain as the Toyota Prime, that would make 302 horsepower. But once they do that, then this would technically be the fastest minivan on the market because the Honda, the Honda Odyssey offers 280 horsepower and then the Chrysler Pacifica that offers around 272 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. But if you guys know the actual horsepower for the Pacifica, just comment down in the comment section down below or I would just leave it down in the description box. But um, just cruising on these back roads here where I normally film uh, the videos at this thing is really quiet. It's dead quiet. I don't hear any road noise, any uh, wind noise. Even though it's a really windy day, I don't hear any uh, wind uh, coming intruding into the actual cabin here. But like I mentioned, fuel economy is really good. You get great fuel economy in this uh, new Sienna, which is offered as a hybrid now. So you can't get that V6 anymore, unfortunately. Toyota went away. Toyota went away from the actual V6. Uh, visibility out here is really good good commanding view of the road here the seats here they're comfortable um they're comfortable they're supportive but i would prefer uh the seats on the higher trim level these are the cloth seats they're not bad seats but they're the cloth seats um i know most people will probably go for the leather seats but just driving this thing even driving aggressive when i put my foot down um i was i'm averaging around 37 miles to the gallon so i'm actually getting better fuel economy compared with the epa suggests that you should get um, but I know you guys probably get better fuel economy if you just drive this thing as a as a conservative driver. But Toyota, you did a really good job putting this thing on a new platform. This is on the TNGA uh, platform, so it's the Toyota new global architecture platform that underpins the Avalon, the Camry, and the other uh, Lexus products in in Toyota's lineup and Lexus lineup as well. But the visibility is really good. But this being a front wheel drive mode, I'm gonna put this thing in, back into sport mode here. And I'm gonna pedal out on the front tires. <laughs> if you do that a lot, you will roast your front tires. <laughs> and honestly, I would recommend doing that a lot uh, during that period. Um, this is a minivan. Quote unquote, Toyota says it's a minivan, but honestly, they make this thing look more like an, a, modern, uh, day, a modern day uh, SUV. But Toyota did a really good job with the Sienna, and I'm really impressed with the driving dynamics. This thing is buttery smooth, great visibility, great driver's assistance, and honestly, you guys did a really good job with the Toyota Sienna. So after spending time with the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE, my tester has some optional equipment controls in the Toyota Guard, which is two oil changers and the filter, also the carpeted floor mats. My tester has an S tester price at $41,000. $174. I'd like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for providing me with the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE. If you're in the market for a 2021 Toyota Sienna LE, you can go to South Day Toyota and ask Wilford. He gets you to a new use or pre owned vehicle. Hope you guys have enjoyed my full review on the 2021 Toyota Sienna LE. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Driver Reviews and please keep subscribing to the channel and turn on post notifications. And my apologies that it's so freaking windy outside doing this video. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. But hope you guys have enjoyed this video and also turn on post notifications. I'll catch you all in the next video.